Cruiserweight Chaos presents Lockdown. Tonight we have both the Light Heavyweight Championship and the Cruiserweight Championship title on the line tonight. But before we get into that, we need to start our Cruiserweight Tag Team Tournament. That's right. Tonight we have Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa teaming up against Akira Tozawa and Mustafa Ali. This is the first round for the Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship. And it is a great way to start off. Can DIY Reunion make a comeback and regain the titles? We're about to find that out right now. Speaking of DIY, there he is, Johnny Gargano, also known as Johnny Wrestling. If you haven't caught up on this yet, let me take you back a few weeks ago. Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Chopper were backstage when Johnny came up with the idea that they should make a reunion. At first, Tommaso Ciampa was against it, but sooner or later, he gave in, and that's why DIY is back tonight and going for the Cruiserweight Chaos Championship. My apologies, I mean the Chaos Tag Team Championship. These two both deserve a shot at the goal, so why not do it together and end of this tournament? I'm very excited for this team. Making his way down the ring is Tommaso Ciampa. And look at his face. Look at the determination on his face. You can already tell that he wants to end this first round really fast so he can move on to his next opponent. Even though they are a tag team, everybody has to wonder, is Tommaso Ciampa, is actually, is he, is he going to follow up and actually help out Johnny Gargano? Remember last time they were a tag team, at the end of their match, he blindsided Gargano and attacked him. This has been a while since we saw DIY in the same ring. Even though looks can be deceiving, they look like they're staying together, waiting for their opponents. And here comes one of them right now.
This should be very interesting, people. Akira Tozawa has entered the Cruiserweight Chaos Tag Team Championship Tournament. We last time we saw him, it was actually a match against Noam Dar, and they put on a hell of a show. I mean, that was a back and forth match. That match was great, but that match was two weeks ago. Tonight, he has to face stiff competition within DIY, and his partner, Mustafa Ali, has to help him out if they want to walk away. The winners of this round one match. And making his Cruiserweight Chaos debut is Mustafa Ali. If you guys know him, you know he is a great high flyer and he knows how to use that ring very well. At first I was very hesitant about this tag team, but now that you think about it, it is a high flyer, a very crafted high flyer mixed with a stiff, hard hitting wrestler. This is going to be great. This will be a great match with a lot of stories tying into it. The first story is the DIY reunion. Are they capable enough to trust each other to get the win? And the next story is can this new tag team of Akira and Mustafa Ali be able to dethrone DIY and move on to round two? Well, we're about to find out right now. And here we go. We start things off with a lockup. And look at Gargano pushing Akira to his partner. He's pretty much telling Akira, you better tag in Mustafa Ali because this is going to be a hard hitting fight. Johnny called him. Iris went to the post. But he gets the chin checked by Akira. And Akira with an uppercut. Nice uppercut. What is he going for right here? Nice move by Akira Tozawa. He's letting Johnny know. But if you want a hard hitting fight, you can get it. And now look at Akira. He tagged in Mustafa Ali. But, but there's a clothesline. And Johnny got distracted by that clothesline. He didn't see the tag. Here comes. Oh, but there's a reversal by Johnny. And we got a punch. And a chop. What are you going for here? I was with, oh, no, no. Neck breaker. Nice sequence by Johnny. Here he goes for the pin. One. Oh, uh, one count. We have a one count. Here goes Johnny. Nice insiguri by Johnny Gargano. This is going to be a real interesting match, people. Like I said before, we have two teams. One that is a freshly new team and one that is pretty much a veteran team. And look at Mustafa Ali with the running senton. Where's Mustafa Ali? Is he going to go? He's calling him for something. He is calling him for something. Springboard. Dropkick and he takes down the referee. The referee was at the wrong place at the wrong time. And look at Ciampa. He's coming in. Crucifix. He hit the crucifix. And the referee is still down. The referee hasn't seen it. And look at Johnny. Johnny is crawling. Oh, he was trying to go for the pin, but Mustafa got up. And look at Mustafa getting his revenge. There goes a punch and a chop. And another chop. I was whipped. Here we go. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Back body drop. Back body drop. And again, Mustafa Ali is paying for it with those distractions. Nice super kick. But back to the topic that I was recently talking about. You saw how Ciampa took advantage of the referee being knocked out. That is what you call a team player. He came in and saved his tag team partner. Akira Tozawa is just watching, waiting for his moment to come and bust on the scene. Oh, look, 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 roll up. Here we go. Can we get one? Can we get it? Here we go. One. Two. No, no, no. Here we go. One. Oh, one count. And a DDT. And this matchup so far has been interesting. Every time Johnny gets a little momentum, 
Mustafa Ali is able to cut it down and here comes Akira. These two have been playing it smart and making sure that Johnny, wait a minute, chop, nice chop by Johnny. I was going to say these two men have been trying to slow down his momentum, but apparently that hasn't been working. A nice rolling scene time. Remember this whole entire match we have not seen Tommaso Ciampa enter the ring once. Is he ever going to enter the ring? Well, we just got our answer now. Here he comes. Nice roll over. And there he goes. Chopper grabs an arm. Nice! And there's many people who are watching right now probably wondering if Tommaso Ciampa is actually going to help Johnny Gargano and move on to round two or is he going to stab him in the back like he did last time. Well, there goes a reversal. Oh, he was trying to go for that patented chop and baseball drop kick. Oh, here we go. German suplex. Normally we see Akira Tozawa giving people those, but tonight Ciampa has to deliver a German suplex of his own. And look, look what he's going for. Shining. Oh, nice kick to the face. Sorry, back of the head. Sorry, not the face. And here he goes for the roll up. Can you get it? One. Just a one count. And before Ciampa went for the pin, did you see how when he went against the ropes, Johnny jumped down to give him room? That is what you call a team player. This is what I'm talking about. You have a veteran tag team going against up here. Wait a minute. He's going for it. Can he get it? Baseball drop kick. He hit the baseball drop kick. But as I was saying, you have a veteran team working together against a new fresh team. This new team has to work together. They still got a few kinks to work out. But here goes Chopper for a pin. He got a two count. Sure, Akira Tazawa is a hard striking wrestler. And sure, yeah. You have a point. Mustafa Ali is a high flyer. But when it comes down to working together and meshing well together, no other people can mesh well together other than Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. And look at Ciampa repaying Mustafa Ali with a blindsided attack. And look at him cheering the crowd up. There he goes. Oh, he tried to go for a kick. And complete shot by Akira Tozawa. Can he? There he goes for a kick. What is he going for right here? Nice submission hold. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? No, he broke out of it. Chamba's up first. Here he goes. Brain Buster. Can he go for it? Can he go for a quick pin? One. One count. And look at Johnny with a sneak kick. This is something different that we've seen in DIY, but I'm glad to see these two are working together for a common goal, and that is the Cruiserweight Chaos Tag Team Championship. But look at Akira. Here he goes. Nice suplex. He goes for the pin. One. One count. Only a one count, ladies and gentlemen. And Akira is fired up. He had to deliver a suplex to wake his butt up. Oh, and there he goes. I think he's done playing around. Standing suplex. One. Whoa. Kick out out one. And Akira is fired up. Here we go. Look at Akira go. And look at him go. Nice kick. Akira is up. His momentum is high right now. Oh, he's trying to chop down that shoulder. But look at look at Chopper. Stiff elbow. Can you go for another one? And another brain buster. That was smart of Chompa. Go for the move that will daze your opponent to make sure that they don't have any more momentum. But look at Akira. Here we go with a. Oh, he was trying to go for another one. But look at Chompa. Was so smart. He flipped and then tagged in Johnny. And here comes Johnny. Johnny with an insecurity. And look at Johnny. He's bringing him, bringing this team back to life. Chop, chop. Here he goes. And a suplex of his own. Like I said in the beginning, guys, if you give Johnny momentum, he will take full advantage in a double stomp to the sternum. And look at Johnny go with the elbow. Look at Johnny go. Oh, he's calling for it. He told him it is over. Here he goes. Nice little arm drag. Oh, 
but he got caught in the suplex in that suplex number three. Akira Tozawa played into that. He was waiting for his moment and he took full advantage. Oh, but here he goes again. Can he hit it? Can he hit it? Suplex number four. Suplex number four. One, two, and it was blocked. It has been stopped by Ciampa. Ciampa saved the count. And Akira is fired up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but here comes Johnny. Here comes Johnny. Here comes Johnny. With a super kick. There goes Johnny. Johnny has woken. He has awoken. I was to the post. Oh, what is he going for here? Wait a minute. Can he go for it? Lawn dart! Lawn dart! Spiked him in the turnbuckle. And Akira is out, ladies and gentlemen. Akira is out, and here comes Ciampa. Ciampa knows what he has to do now. Ciampa is going up. What is Ciampa going for? Oh, he missed. He missed the elbow. Oh, but Akira goes for a kick. But it was reversed. Oh, my. Here it comes. Is he trying to hit the Big Bang? No. He couldn't do it. He couldn't get the Big Bang. He's just waiting. He's waiting for him. I think he's calling for something. What is he going for? Crucifix! Here you go. One, two, oh, but it was stopped by Mustafa. And look at Mustafa playing in to one of their tricks. But look at Chopper. Chopper's fired up and with a deadly clothesline. The psycho clothesline. But he is not done with him yet. He is not done with him yet. Oh, he's trying to go for a finisher. But no, he... He stopped him. Number five. Suplexes left and right, ladies and gentlemen. Here he goes for a count. One. Oh, one count. A one count. And there he goes. Chops to the shoulder away. And making sure that arm is not being able to be used for the remainder of this match. And here comes Mustafa Ali to pick up the pieces. Nice kick. His goal is to keep Champa down. Nice springboard to the back. Nice whip. Flip over into the knee to the elbow again. And here goes the count. One, two. Woo. I couldn't call it. I don't know if he kicked out or Johnny stopped the count. But either way, he got out of it. Here he goes. Uh oh, what, what's Mustafa setting him up for? What is Mustafa setting him up for? I think it's time. Oh, I seen it. we saw this move previously. Can he hit it? Is he gonna hit it? Is he gonna hit it? Wait, what? What is this? What? Who? Who was that? Who just? Can we get the lights back in this place, please? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, five, four. What the? Who, who, who just, who was, who was that? Oh my, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm confused, ladies and gentlemen. But let's get back to this match. As we saw, Mustafa Ali hit the 0 5 4. And Johnny was smart to distract the referee so he couldn't get that solid two count. Drop kick to the back. Oh, but they took out Mustafa as well. Here comes Mustafa. Kick to the leg. Oh. Suplex by Ciampa. Oh. Ciampa was look like he was going for the count, but he knew that he had to end this. And he's going to end it. With the big bang! With the big bang. And he goes after Tazawa. He takes out Tazawa. Smart move. Smart move. And here comes in Johnny. I think Johnny knows what it's time for. I think he knows what it's time for. He's going out. He's going out. He's calling it. He's calling it. He's calling it. Spear! He hit it. He hit it. Mustafa was looking for his tag team partner, but his tag team partner was down. Two. Three. And they have done it. DIY moves on to round two. That 
was a match, ladies and gentlemen. Good effort. And look at this. Oh, they are back. DIY is officially back. This tournament just got great. As you can see right here, Neckbreaker DIY had full control halfway through the match. But then, right here, this is when it started to get a little tricky. We had a lot of pin count and a lot of reversals. But let's be honest here. DIY was full force tonight. After a lot of striking, they played this smart. When the referee was down, Chopper took advantage. And when Chopper was almost out, Johnny took advantage to distract the referee. That is how smart these two gentlemen played this match this evening. And that is why they won. At one point, Akira and Mustafa Ali had this match. But Johnny hit the slingshot spear and were able to pin. And as you can see, Akira was down. And that was because Ciampa hit the big bang and then attacked Akira so Johnny can get the pin. So now we have DIY moving on to round two. And round two is they face the winners of the Lucha Dragons and the new team, Doc Blackwell and Corey Black. Wait a minute, that's Co Corey Black was the one who distracted this match. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for our first championship match of this evening. And making his way down the ring is our cruiserweight champion, Neville. And as you can see, Neville doesn't have the belt. And that's because the general manager took the belt from him earlier last week and said, if you want this belt, you have to fight for this belt in the match against Jack Gallagher. And Neville looks like he has no problem with it. I mean, of course he has no problem because if he doesn't come to this match or even fight in this match, he will be stripped of the title. So he has no other way than to defend this title tonight against Jack Gallagher. And I think Jack Gallagher is ready for this match. And look at Jack Gallagher looking around the ring and then staring down Neville. I think this match is going to be a real good one because he's been waiting for this for the past two months. At first, we thought we will never see this match happen. Neville has been dodging Gentleman Jack for the past month. The only time they recently had a fight was two weeks ago at our main event tag team match when it was champions versus contenders and Jack Gallagher was able to get his hands on Neville. But tonight, it is about the championship. It is about who is going to walk away the cruiserweight champion. Tonight, there's no more ducking, no more dodging. Tonight, Neville has to defend his title against Jack Gallagher, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what it's all about. The Cruiserweight Chaos Championship. Neville, Gentleman Jack, for the Cruiserweight Championship, and here we go.
We start off with a lockup. There goes Jay. Mushing the face of Neville to let him know that he is stronger than Neville. Neville doesn't even look phased at all. He's going right back into that hole. And look at Neville pushing Gentleman Jack to the ropes. Pretty much telling Jack, you want to play my mind games? You want to muscle up? I can muscle up too. Let's go. Oh, and look at Jack. Oh, with an uppercut. I think the time for games are over. Because here comes the fist and the kicks from Gentleman Jack. This has to feel good for Gentleman Jack. He's been waiting a long time for this matchup. And there's another uppercut. Arranging the arms between the ropes. And here goes the, the pin. One. Two. Oh, just a one count. And did you see how he just slammed Neville on the ground and went for the pin? This is a much aggressive side. Oh, nice suplex by Neville. As I was saying, this has been an aggressive side of Gentleman Jack that we have seen lately. But look at Neville going to the mid rope. Mid rope, Phoenix splash. And he hits it. He hits it. So dragging him back up. But he gets chin checked by Jack. He tried to go for a punch. But nice forearm by Neville. And there goes a stiff punch by Gentleman Jack. Nice slam. Gentleman Jack. Oh, but here we go with an uppercut by Neville. Here we go. Mr. Noku Driver. What do you guys think is going through the mind of Neville right now? I think Neville is probably thinking that he has to finish this match as soon as possible. He does not want to walk away by being the king of the Cruiserweights without his championship crown. But look at Jack Gallagher. He is on a mission. Kick to the back. Here he goes for the pin. Can he get him? One. No. Just a one count. He also brings him back up. There he goes with an uppercut. Look at Neville. Reverse it. Here's Neville again. Throwing him outside the ring. Smart by Neville. Oh, he's letting his arm outside of the ring. And a standing moonsault. Nice standing moonsault by Neville. Like I said earlier, this is no disqualification, but the referee is still counting. So I guess there's a little bit into this. And Neville can play out his championship advantage. He cannot get he cannot lose with a count out. He cannot lose by hitting somebody with a chair. If he does that, he will be able to keep this belt. But I don't think Jack Gallagher really cares. I think Jack is really out to get that championship and beat Neville. And look at Neville. Try to go for a cutter, but he missed. And look at Jack throwing him back in the ring. And Jack is about to take full advantage of this situation. Drop kick. Here he goes again. Bringing him back up. What is Jack going for? Here he goes trying to go for another slam. No, no. Reverse DDT by Neville. Here goes Neville going for the pin. Can he get him? One. Here we go. Two. Can he get him? No. Just a two count. Look at Neville yelling at the ref. He knows that was three. And he goes straight for a kick. We try to stomp him. But look at Jack. Look at Jack. Oh, but here goes Neville. Here goes Neville. Snap suplex. Neville in another standing moonsault. Neville has been on top of Jack Gallagher this whole entire match so far. And he's calling Jack for something. Here he goes. Springboard. Oh, he tried to go for a springboard drop kick, but missed. And here comes Jack. Jack with another kick to the spine. Here go for a pit. No. What? No, he did not go for a pit. He go went for oh! A arm bar and a leg lock. Nice submission. And look at Neville. He is struggling right now. Is he going to tap? No. He broke out of it. That was a nice fake out by Jack. Oh, he tried to go for that knee. Reverse suplex. And here comes Neville again for the pin. One. Nice. Only a one count this time. And look at Neville. Chops to the head. Chops to the head. 
I've been ever He's climbing the rope. Are we, we going to get the red arrow right now? What are you going for? Oh! He went for a shooting star and he missed. And look at Jack. Jack is fired up right now. He's calling him. Here he goes. Nice. He's telling him to get up. Here comes Jack. Lifting him up. Iris with Fisherman float over. Getting him up once again. What is he going for right here? Lifting him up. Oh, nice kick by Neville. Oh, he went for another drop kick, but missed. And Jack is going up to the top rope. Uh, but Neville is quickly trying to get up. And Jack with his own drop kick. Can Jack do it? Is this Jack's moment tonight? Can Jack get the title? Wait, and Jack is going up again. What is Jack doing? What is Jack doing? Headbutt. Headbutt. And he goes for the pin. Hitting him one. Two. Ah, just a two count. There he goes. And Jack, he's going back up again. This is the third time we saw Jack go up. And he is setting Neville up for something. Blockbuster. He hit the blockbuster. He hit the blockbuster. Uh oh, what is he going for here? Oh, the way he twisted that arm, and now he's going for the pain. One, ladies and gentlemen. Two. Oh, what an amazing sequence! Three times he went up top of the ropes. Three times back to back to back. But look at Neville. Neville is coming back. Here he goes. Neville. Can you hit it? He's going for the power bomb. Power bomb by Neville. And he goes for the pin. One. Just a one count. Neville is the only one who believes that Jack does deserve a title shot. That is why he attacked him. And there he goes. Oh! A standing course screw moonsault. Nice move. And look at Neville. Trying to figure out what does he have to do to defeat him. Oh, oh, but we look like we have to have our answer right here. Neville is setting him up for the red arrow, but he missed. And look at Jack. Headbutt, no. No. No headbutt. Neville looked at it, and he read it. He read the movements. Jack was just too slow. And there he goes. He tried to hit a punch, but Neville was too slow. But he got it that time. He got the headbutt that time. Can he do it? Can he get him up? I think we all know what he's setting him up for. Can he get him? I was ripped to the post. And here comes the gentleman drop kick. The gentleman drop kick. Look at this. There it is. Look at the elevation of his feet. But that drop kick took a lot out of him. It took a lot out of him. Can he get him for the pin? No, he couldn't. He goes again. Irish whip. And oh, Jack is filling himself. Can he get another one? And he got another one. Jack got another one. Look at this one. Right after a flip and a little dance, Jack was able to hit him with one. But Neville is still at the corner. Jack is looking around trying to figure out what he has to do. Oh, but he hit him with another gentleman drop kick. So that is a total of three gentlemen drop kicks. What is he going for right here? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Fourth time up. It's fourth time up. And another diving headbutt. Can he get him right here with the pin one? Two. Three. No. Noble is still alive and Jack cannot believe it. This is really starting to play into what Noble has been saying all these weeks. Does Jack really deserve the championship? And he goes for another two, hit and another two count. And Jack is losing his mind. Can he be able to pin Neville? And Neville with a chin check. Neville with a kick. What is Neville going for right here? Oh, faked him out. 
Neville faked him out. What is he going for right here? Jack tried to hit him, but he hit the ring post. Oh, he tried to hit the drop kick, but he was able to get an elbow across the back of Jack's head. And look at Neville, the first up, and just walking around Jack. And here he goes. Is he going for the pin? Yes. Neville's going for the pin. One. Just a one count. A kick out of desperation coming from Jack. And here he goes again. Oh, oh he tried to start tried the chops, but it didn't work. It did not work. And look at Jack. Picking him up for a body slam. Here comes Jack again. Picking up Neville. Neville with the reversal. And look at Neville. Oh, he tried to hit a springboard, but it did not work. He was off the mark. And look at Neville, trying to recuperate, trying to recollect himself. And look at Jack. Jack baited him in. Jack baited him in. And a nice chop from Jack. What a chop. And look at Neville. Neville. Can you get it? He tried to get the snap suplex, but he got a neck breaker instead. And look at Jack taking a bow for his work. And here he goes. He's pinning. Oh, but we get a rope. I'm telling you guys, no matter what Jack throws at Neville, Neville is not backing down. Every time he goes for a pin, Neville has been able to kick out. I wonder what it's going to take for him to get that done. And look at Neville. Reverse and back on the attack. And another Mishinoku driver. And he's going for the pin right here. Can he get it? One. Oh, just a one count again. Neville knows what he has to do. And Neville again. Corkscrew moonsault. And look at Neville. Oh, Neville. He's just looking like he's gassed out. He is gassed out. He wants to finish him right here. And he is hyping the crowd up. The crowd knows Neville has to go for a red arrow. But I don't think he's going for it. Uh, here he goes. Hitting the rings of Saturn. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? Ladies and gentlemen, is Jack going to tap? What is he going to do? What is he? Oh, no. Not again. Oh, wait a minute. That's Cord Black's partner. That's Doc's Blackwell. What, what, have they, what have they been doing? Why are they... Oh man. Oh my god. And Jack is out of it. Jack is out of it. And he hits him with a drop kick. The way Neville's head bounced off of the rope. I think Neville is a little bit out. And he gets a headbutt. Oh my. Oh, Jack is calling for it. Jack said enough is enough. What is Jack going to go do here? He's going for another gentleman drop kick. Yes. And there he goes. Another gentleman drop kick that is the third one tonight can he be able to pin him and he goes for another one but if you actually want to think about it that's five drop kicks here he goes i think it's over right here new champion is jack gala wait no here we go. Jack is losing his cool again. Jack is losing it. What does he have to do to take down Neville? And here goes Neville. Neville trying to do a belly to belly. But Jack reversed it. Neville body is a little bit out of it. All those drop kicks. All those drop kicks have to do something to his mix section. A nice reversal. And Neville. Oh, but a power bomb. A power bomb. And here we go again. Jack Gallagher is climbing the ropes. What is he going for right here? Knees to the stomach. Oh, but look at Jack. He is favoring that knee. I don't think he landed on that knee properly. But he's pushing through it. He's pushing through it. There's a punch to Neville. There's another punch to Neville. There's another one to Neville. He has Neville on the ropes. And look at Jack. How smart of that. In the beginning of this match, he wrenched his arm and now he's wrenching the bottom leg of Neville. And look at Neville. Smart move by Neville. Smart move by Neville. 
The devil gonna go for a pin. He's going for a pin right now. Can he get him? One. Can he get him? Two. Can he get him? No. And look at Neville now. Trying to figure out what does he have to do to take out Gentleman Jack. He's climbing the ropes again. What is he going for right here? He's telling him to get up. He's trying to, Oh! But he missed him. He missed him. But look at Neville. He's trying to recover. Recollect. Ever since Jack hit him with that headbutt. He has been out of it. He's been missing all of his marks. But look at here goes. Here goes Jack. Oh, he tried to go for an elbow, but he missed. Can Neville get this one? No. He reversed the power bomb. What he go for? Oh, and he hit him with the knee. And Neville is busted open. Neville is busted open. He is busted open, ladies and gentlemen. Here he goes. Nice takedown by Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher has Neville down. Jack Gallagher is climbing the ropes again. Can he do it? Can he be successful this time? Is he going for it? Knees to the stomach. He got it. He got the knees. What is he going for now? Nice takedown by Jack. Oh. The referee is calling Jack off. Neville is in pain. Neville has not moved. Was all in a drop kick to the back of the head. This has been a very aggressive showing from Jack Gallagher so far, ladies and gentlemen. I have not seen this in a while, and he's going back to the arm of Neville. He's climbing the ropes again. He's told Neville before, sure, you are the king of the cru cruiserweights, but I'm going to show you who can really fly in this match. And he hits another blockbuster. Can he do it? Can he finish this match up right here? Can he do it? Can he do it? He's calling for it. He's calling for it. Gentleman drop kick. The gentleman drop kick. The last. Hopefully this should be the last gentleman drop kick to Neville. Can he finish him off, ladies and gentlemen? Is that the last one? Look at and look at Jack. Put, moving him away from the ropes. Can he do it? Can he get him? Can he get him one? Can he get him two? We have a new champion. We have a new champion. The new champion is Jack Gallagher. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. He is your new Cruiserweight Chaos Champion. And that man is Jack Gallagher. He finally put Neville's reign to an end. And in order to do that, he had to switch on a more aggressive side. A side that we have not seen from Jack Gallagher in a long time. But let's not take this away from Neville. Neville put up a fight. He put up a fight against Jack Gallagher. But Jack Gallagher went up to the rope, top rope a dozen times. Pretty much more times than Neville normally would. And he had knew that he had to take those risks. Take those champ chances to become champion. And right here, there he goes with the gentleman drop kick. And right there, we thought that he was going to pin him immediately. But he was gassed out. And look how he moved him away from the ropes. Good ring awareness from Jack Gallagher. And once he did that, he secured his victory with the one, two, three. Good match from Jack Gallagher. Nice showing. There is our new champion, Jack Gallagher. I'm going to stay focused to our next match. Austin Aries, Lee Brian Kendrick, going against Rick Swan and TJP. And these are our second match in the first round of our Cruiserweight Chaos Tag Team Championship. And it is next. comes to the ring ladies and gentlemen Austin Aries we haven't seen Austin Aries since his loss to Tony Nese in that no hold bar 
And I think this, this is the good thing that we can get on I believe that off the air, we'll walk out this man, Victoria, and move on to round two with his partner, Brian Trimble. Now, the interesting part that these two teams that are battling tonight are new, freshly teams. So, they're going to have to get these two working well together and matching well together. Yes, that is correct. We have two fresh teams, but one of these teams have a bond that is stronger and that is fresh here. They should have any higher bond than any tag team. As you saw that earlier tonight with DIY. But I also have this question to you guys. Who do you partner up with a mastermind? You give somebody who has a plan. And that man has a plan. And his name is THE Brian Kendrick. This is going to be very interesting to see these two partner up together. Like if you think about it, you have the mastermind, Austin Aries, a person who is very technical, who is very smooth with wrestling, and then you have the Brian Kendrick. There's no other words to explain it. It's the Brian Kendrick. A man who's been around the world, just like Austin Aries, a man who's been in big matches, big money matches, and either risen on top or went in the back and thought of a new plan to win the next night. And that is the Brian Kendrick. So if you put these two together, I think this is a dangerous combination. I don't think any other team would survive this. We're about to see this play out tonight. Friendships versus masterminds. Who is going to rise on top? Will it be these two or this man with his partner coming down the room? And look at him go. That is Rick Swan, ladies and gentlemen. He is ready for this match. And look how he is just moving down the ramp. He doesn't even care about those two in the ring. I think he's just more concerned about hyping up the crowd, getting them all ready, so they know they're about to see something great, something wonderful. Oh, but wasting little time. Here they come, and here they go. Look at Austin Aries, knowing that his other partner did not come down with him, so he's taking full advantage. And look at TJP. But look at them go. Here, up. Oh, wait a minute. Nice move by Rich Swan, and here comes TJP. But oh, look, Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick is attacking TJP on the outside. Throwing him against the bar. Nice slam. But look at, look at Austin Aries and Rich Swan in the ring. It is pure madness, ladies and gentlemen. The referee needs to contain this match. He needs to slow this match down. These two, these two teams are just tearing each other apart. And this match hasn't even begun yet. Nice hurricane run about Rich Swan. And look at Rich Swan go. All dancing aside, this referee needs to take control of this match. And these and Brian Kendrick and TJP are still fighting outside. While Rich Swan, nice tornado DDT. There goes Rich Swan. Oh, he tried to go for a moonsaw, but he missed. There goes and there goes the stomp. That was a smart move by. Austin Aries and Brian Kendrick. They sat there and let Rich Swan come in the ring and then they just attacked him without any sense. They just really just took it to him and they forced TJP to come out and make the save. But it was blocked by Brian Kendrick. Nice regular eyes and nice neck breaker. But it wasn't so long until Rich Swan was able to get the momentum swinging back in his favor. But there's a stop to Austin Aries. From Austin Aries. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Nice punch. And there's another one. What is Austin Aries going for? Oh, a tornado DDT of his own. And he goes for the pin. One. Two. Two count. Nice two count. 
and look at Austin Aries calling for him, telling him to get up. Here comes Austin Aries full force with a forearm. And he's tagged in the Brian Kendrick. Look at Brian. He's just waiting for him to get up. But that was a mistake because here comes Rich. Nice drop kick from Rich. Rich has been waiting for this moment. He's been wanting tag team championship belts and cruiserweight chaos. And a general manager gave him his answer. Nice block. Nice hurricane run. Rich Swan even said that he would like for him and TJP to face DIY in the finals. Just to get a little bit of revenge for that match that they had a few weeks ago. But here comes Brian Kendrick. Nice shove. There goes Brian Kendrick. Nice elbow. And nice insecurity. I really did not expect to see that coming from Brian Kendrick. And look at him. Bandering to Oh! Told the crowd to shut up. We thought that he was going with the crowd, but then he just said, shut up. Nice backbreaker from Brian Kendrick. Ice whip to the post. Tags in Austin Aries. Drop quick into a complete shot. Nice move. And here comes here he goes for the pin. Here he goes. One. Nice breakup from Rich Swan. And look at Oh! Nice springboard moonsault. We thought that he was going for Rich Swan, but he faked him out and hit a springboard moonsault on the TJP. It was kind of like him saying, fine, you want to break the count? Fine, then I'll hit a moonsault. And look at Austin Aries just taking advantage. There goes a punch and an elbow. Nice reversal from TJP. And look at TJP. Oh, he was going for form, but then he blocked it. And here comes TJP. Here comes TJP. Nice Pele kick to finish it off. What is TJP going for right here? He's calling him up for something. Oh, nice. Back flip drop kick. He's calling for it right now. The TJ clutch. TJP clutch. He has it. He has it. He has it. Oh, but he broke it up, which was broken up. And a nice insecure kick. Both men are down. Both men are down. And did you see how he broke the pin though? How he broke the submission. Instead of attacking TJP, he slapped Austin Aries. I don't think that was a good idea, but we're just gonna move move on from that for right now. Say that later. But here comes another pin. One, two, oh three. No, he blocked it. He stopped it. He stopped it. But did you see how TJP came around and just did a float over? Here he goes. Oh, he missed it. It looked like he was going for a corkscrew senton, but he missed it. Austin saw it coming from a mile away. And look at Austin going straight to the neck. Straight to the neck of Rich Swan. Here he goes. Here he goes. What's he going for? Ha! <laughs> Look at Austin Aries. He had to stop and bask in the way he just played Rich Swan. And Rich Swan is still getting up. Up. Oh, neck breaker. Neck breaker. Perfect elbow. The perfect elbow drop. Here he goes for the pin. Can he get him? One, two, three. Oh, no. Just a two count. And look how ready Brian Kendrick was. He was in the ring waiting for him. And look at Austin Aries. What is he going for right here? What is he going for right here? What is he going for right here? Nice clothesline from Austin Aries. And I think this is over. Look at him go. He's on the top. He is on the top. Oh, but look at Rich. He is trying to crawl to TJP. But there he goes with a drop kick. Nice drop kick. Nice drop kick from Austin Aries. And I think he's setting him back up for the move that he was trying to finish. And which is the 450 
Splash. And he hits it. Can he finish him off right here? Is it over? One, two, three. They are moving on. Brian Kendrick and Austin Aries are moving on. Looks like we have our answer, ladies and gentlemen. The Masterminds beat a strong bond with this friendship. And they did it smart. See that Rich Swan came out. They attacked Rich Swan. Which pretty much left TJP to come in and try to make the save. Which was kind of impossible. But we saw Rich Swan kind of make a comeback. As you can see right here, after TJP puts a good beat down, Rich Swan tried to get the finish. And right here, TJP went for DDT. But when he went, he kicked out. As we can see here, Austin Aries hit a picture perfect elbow drop. He went for a pin, but only got a two count. And he knew the only way he had to finish it was to finish him off with this beautiful clothesline and to finish him off with this beautiful 450 splash. And I think that was a little shot for up in there after he turned him in after his victory over Austin Aries. But scratch that. Now they move on to the next round. And they face the winner of Grand Rocks Elite and Cedric Alexander. The Tony Meese and Noreen Dahl. With all introductions aside, these two bum rushed the ring and demanded this match started now. And look at Lince Dorado already throwing him outside the ring. And look at Lince Dorado go. Dorado is following Drew Gulak. What is he going for right here? Throwing him into the ring post. Oh my god. Lince Dorado knows that he has to defeat Drew Gulak. Let him know that those victories that he had wasn't a fluke. That he is the real deal. He is the true light heavyweight champion. There he goes. I will to the back. Into a torture rack. Wait a minute. Swinging powerbomb. Nice move by Lince Dorado. And a quick stomp. This match has gotten very, very personal within the last couple of weeks. Just think about how hard Lince had to fight for this match. The people that he had to face. He had to face Cedric Alexander. Then he had to take down Drew Gulak himself in order to get this championship match. This match means a lot to him. And look at, oh, Drew Gulak with a Hearn Karata. He was playing possum. Drew knows he has to play smart. He has to be, he has to be quicker. He has to be faster in order to take down Lindsay. And Lindsay with a roaring elbow. And here go, look at Drew Gulak again with that Hearn Karata. Thinking fast. Oh, there he goes with a chair. May I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, this is a chairs match. And there he goes, reversing it. Nice Frankensteiner. Like I said, this is a chairs match. There's no count outs. There are pinfall. You have to do the pinfall within the ring. But a chair is legal in this match. Oh, he's picking him up. Straight for suplex. Guys, this first half of this match has been all outside the ring. I think Drew Gulak wants to torture Lince Dorado. And with the Lufez press, here comes Drew Gulak. And look at Drew going right back in the ring. Drew coming out. What's Drew going right here going around? Nice clothesline by Drew Gulak. And he picks up that chair. What is he going to do with the chair? He connects. Body shots. After body shots. Oh, he missed this one. But there he goes with another body shot to make sure that that one counted. Drew Gulak is playing this match smart. Think about it. This is a chairs match. He can do anything with that chair and it's legal. He's telling the crowd to look at him. Oh, and there goes. Oh, but he blocked it. Lince was trying to come up for a sneak attack. And here comes Lince back. And there goes Drew. There goes. Oh, there goes Lince with a block. There he goes. 
Getting him around and around for the Hurricane Rana. Oh, and there goes a the kick. And he's finally bringing him back in the ring. Nice elbow to the forehead. Wednesday knows how to finish this match. And he knows he needs to beat Drew Gulak. And there goes Wednesday taking a step back. Cartwheel into a moonsault. Cartwheel into a moonsault. He is all about business. But oh, Drew Gulak with the Hurricane Runner. The third one. He's been studying Lindsay. And he's setting them up for knee to the back. To a neck breaker. There goes Drew. And he's telling him to get up. He's telling him to get up. And here comes Lindsay. As requested. And there goes his punch. And there goes a kick. This has been back and forth. Here we go. He go for a suplex, but he missed. Nice hammer throw. Here we go. And another Frankensteiner from Lindsay. Oh my god, who's gonna take full momentum? This has been going back and forth this whole entire time. Wait a minute. I see Lindsay. Lindsay's going for it right here. I think he's gonna finish it. Is he call of the wild? Call of the wild. Can he get him? Can he get him? One, two, oh. Just a one count, ladies and gentlemen. I got a little bit excited. Oh, springboard Phoenix Splash. Lindsay is all business now. Momentum has shifted to his side. But here goes Drew with another Hurricane Rana. How is Drew doing this? He has been studying Lindsay. Another punch. Send him to the post. Oh, he's scraping his head on the top rope. There he goes. In the club. What a club right after that. Lindsay was on his knees and he had blindsided him. And look at Drew. He just left the ring. What is he going for? Oh, he's going back to get that chair. And there he goes. Oh, he missed that time. He missed again. And there he goes with that punch. Into a backbreaker. Oh, you grab that chair again. What are you doing? Oh, he just slams it on the ground. This has been a real back and forth match. Every time the one pony gets and momentum, the other one seems to counter. And here he goes again with the knee to the neck and then to the neck breaker to finish it. But Drew has that chair again. What is he going for? I think he's calling for it. Oh, a chair to the leg. And then, oh, he missed that one. Block. And he got hit with the chair. I think he's busted open. He tried to go for a German. Mixed it. Here comes Drew. Counter along on the chair. And both of these two men are out. What a back and forth match between these two. Who is going to get up first? Who's going to take advantage? Who is going to walk away the light heavyweight championship? And look at, listen, he's going for the pin. One. Oh, just a one count. Drew Gulak may be busted open, but he is not out. And there goes a kick from Lindsay. And there goes another kick from Lindsay. And a third kick. And a stomp. Lindsay is very serious tonight ladies and gentlemen Irish whip what is Lindsay going for here he's setting him up he's putting him up on top he's going for a super play he's going for the movie that put that one away two weeks ago oh he tried to hit a hurricane runner he tried to hit a hurricane runner but Drew Gulak called it he saw it and he stayed on top of there and he goes again attacking the leg he got the chair now what are you going for here? Oh, chair shot to me. And another chair shot. This is an onslaught. Somebody stop it. He is attacking that leg. And then he hits him again with the chair. I think Drew has had enough. Drew has had enough of Lindsay. Is he going for it right here? Here you go. Knee to the back to finish with a neck breaker on top of the chair. Neck breaker on top of the chair. And instead of going for the count, he brings Lindsay back up. He wants Lindsay to hurt. 
Who wants him to feel the pain? But Lindsay is fighting back. Lindsay, Iris whooping to the post. Lindsay, setting, look like he's setting him up. Can he get another hurricane run in? I think he's going for another hurricane run. Can he get one in? Lindsay, here's it set up. Nailed it. Nailed the hurricane runner. He nailed it. And he brings him back up to his feet. Brings him back to the post. Is he going for a second one? Is he going for a second hurricane runner? If he can hit this hurricane runner, he can seal the deal. If he can hit this hurricane runner, can he do it? Can he do it? Sets him up. Got it again. He got it again. He got it again. And he kicks him. What is he going for here? And another stomp to the elbow. Stomp to the elbow. I think it's over. He's going for it. He's going to call for it. It's the call of the wild. Can he hit it? The call of the wait a minute. Uppercut. 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 Duke Gulak. Babe. He played possum. He caught it. And look at him. Duke Gulak is telling the crowd that's the reason why he's the light heavyweight championship. And he's waiting. He's waiting. Look. And let's say he's getting up. And they go after each other. He's going for a powerball. Is he going to hit the powerball? Wait a minute. Hurricane Rana. And he's going for the pin. Can he get him one? Can he get him two? Can he get him? Wait a minute. He flipped out of it. One. Two. Three. He did it. Drew Gulak retains. What a match. Drew Gulak. He reversed the Hurricane Rana pin. And pin. Let's take the rattle on his own. Let's take a replay. Cartwheel into a moonsault then knee to the neck into the neck breaker not once then after the call of the wild he kicked out let's look at this again this is where the match ended right there then the call of the wild that was the move right here on the chair once then to close the match he was going for a power bomb let's have reversed it try to go for a pin then drew reversed it held it tight and managed to get the victory. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at that hit again. Congratulations to Drew Gulak. We can see the reason why you are the light heavyweight championship. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And remember, long live the cruiserweights.